For the first period of Salt Lake City's growing public transportation system, the streetcars were pulled by a pair of lumbering rat mules from Missouri. While the mules were temperamental and prone to stopping at any time, the streetcar had a high ridership. During the first week of operation alone, between 400 and 500 people a day rode the new streetcar line. In those early days, passengers frequently complained about the bumpy ride and how often the cars came off the rails, forcing passengers to walk for the rest of their trip or to help the conductors push the cars back onto the rails. Other times, mules would be frightened, jump the car from the rails, break free from their harnesses, and flee. Despite the lack of predictability and speed, the streetcar proved popular and vital. Over the next decade, the problems with bumpy track and derailing cars were fixed, by the time the mule-drawn streetcars had reached their peak, there were as many as 84 mules servicing more than 40 miles of track in Salt Lake City.